Hey guys, it's Marshall with PhysioU. I'm here with Andy, and today for the Mentoring Minute, we're gonna talk about low back pain and related leg pain, which relates to discogenic pain and referred leg pain from the disc. When we talk about this category, it's very important that we include centralization and peripheralization. That's kind of what helps diagnose this category. So, if we ask Andy to bend forward, right, kind of see where he gets his pain to, let's say he gets it to mid-thigh, let's repeat that five more times to see if the location changes. So as he continues to flex to his level of pain, it starts to go down to his mid-calf. So check, right, positive for peripheralization. On the flip side, hands on your hip, good. and bend backwards, Andy. Again, our first one's kind of like our baseline. Let's say again, it goes to mid-thigh. Repeat that five more times, looking to see if it centralizes towards the spine. If it does, another check. Right, so he fits into that centralization, peripheralization. When it, when it comes to management, it's important to identify if they centralize or peripheralize um, because in a study by Long from the Journal of Manual and Locative Therapy, it took 312 patients and that centralized and peripheralized, all with extension towards where they centralized. Half of them got exercises and treatment based on that classification. The other half got unmatched treatments. The group that got the matched treatments, so the ones that we'll talk about here, which are focused on extension, had almost eight times greater chance of benefit after two weeks of therapy. So, with that being said, we'll go over a couple of techniques they used in that article. All right, the first one being just PAs to the lumbar spine. Again, just trying to improve mobility and a normal lordotic curve, more extension. One of the exercises they included in that was prone on elbows. Right, and it can be sustained, just have them hold out here for 30 to 45 seconds, or it can be movement, right? Where it comes up, takes a breath, and down comes up, takes a breath, and down. Right? The nice thing about this is it puts them into extension, but not necessarily end range extension. If there is a case where you want to do end range extension, go ahead and lift up all the, you can do a full press up, but just realize that puts a lot more stress on the spine. So make sure we pay attention to the patient's symptoms. If we want to kind of put some of those principles together, okay, I can do a sustained PA and have him do his press ups onto the elbows. Good. And back down. Again, we're just focusing more of the movement at a certain level, or we can swap it where he goes sustained on the prone on elbows. Go ahead and put your hand, put him in a little bit more extension, and then again, I can perform my PAs. The whole, part, the whole purpose of these exercises in manual therapy is to get normal lordosis and centralization. So after these techniques, it's important to reassess, see has his pain centralized. The last part we'll talk about is patient education because it's very important that they're not continuing to stress their tissue without knowing it. So if we look at Andy sitting here, the articles talk about two big things. One, maintaining normal lumbar lordosis, so using a foam roll or, sorry, not a foam roll, a towel roll or some type of wedge under their pelvis or their lumbar spine. That's one. And then two, trying to sit no longer than 30 minutes at a time. So go ahead and stand up. Another exercise we like to include with these patients is just standing lumbar extensions. Okay, put your hands on your hip. Every time they do stand up. Right? We sit a lot in our daily lives. Just keep doing that, Andy, while we talk. We sit a lot in our daily lives, so it's important to try to neutralize the irritation on the tissue from all that sitting. Again, purposes are centralization and lumbar extension. So we don't need him to go all the way back as far as he can if it hurts a lot. We're just taking them out of flexion, putting them in the direction of extension. Hope you guys enjoyed today's Mentoring Minute. Andy will just keep on doing these because he sits for 12 hours a day. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you, you can just edit that out if you want. Yeah. Okay.